dad gets back to work, I'm gonna get myself a neat little gas job. Like the one we saw at the aircraft show, remember, Johnny? Listen to him, would you? Wasn't it me that showed it to you? Say, Bertie, you're putting that wing on wrong. Let me show you, huh? I'll lay off. I know what I'm doing. What's that gadget on the side for? Well, that's a sky hook. Oh, what's a sky hook? Oh, I'm running along. Will you read it, Bill? Can't you see I'm busy? Hey, Bertie, you better let Johnny put that wing on. It's gonna crack up short. All right, so what? I'll buy a new one. Chuck, you forget his old man's a cop. There's nothing to do but clip coupons off of traffic tickets. What do you mean by that? Nothing. Don't let that stop you if you want to make something out of it. Johnny, look what you're doing. Are you hurt, dear? No. I'm just mad. Well, you might at least say you're sorry. Sorry for what? You had no business hanging around here in the first place. Johnny, that's no way to talk to Rita Bell. Okay, you don't know women. If you're nice and they start running your life. Isn't that right, fellas? Yep. Yeah. That's right. That reminds me, what about that promise you made me? Oh, gee, can't a guy even have some fun? Sure, I want you to have fun, but you promised me you'd do your homework first and then pay. I'm gonna quit school and go to work anyhow. You're what? Oh, gee, I could help out a lot. I think I like to be loafing around and see you doing it all. Listen, Johnny, nobody's loafing when he's trying to learn something. Anybody can get a little old job sweeping out an office or carrying somebody else's bag. But a two-bit boy usually grows up to be a two-bit man. And I want you to do better than that. In one or two years, maybe I'll be getting married. Oh, well, congratulations. Well, you know how girls are. So you just keep your mind books for a while longer and don't worry about anything else, see? Dad'll be getting something before long. Oh, gee, I forgot to tell you, he's got a job already. Do you mean that? Yeah, a fella come around off from jobs and he gave Mom this card to give to Dad. Chick Riley, private detective agency. Did you ever hear about him? What's the matter, Kay? We'll see about this. Kay, my goodness. Why do you have to come in like a cyclone? Where's Dad? Uh, well, it's only four o'clock. What are you doing home so early? You didn't Don't tell. worry, I didn't get fired. Tell me, where's Dad? Uh, why, he's, he's... What are you looking at me that way for? You sent him down to that factory. What if I did? A job's a job. You ought to be grateful to keep pushing your father about work. You're sick as well as mine. Heaven's knows, I don't expect much out of life. Just a Roman folk, you and Johnny. You know they're having a strike at that factory. Strike or no strike, he's got a right to think of his family. He's got a right to think of himself, too. He won't be able to face his friends. It'll break him. He's not the kind of a man to scab. You should have known better than to make him go. I shouldn't do this, shouldn't do that. Everything I do around here is wrong. Oh, no, I'm in the way. There should be a law. When parents get over 40, their children should be allowed to shoot them. Be done with it. Can't you see it's dangerous? He might be killed. Go on, go on, call him murder. Oh, Mom, quit acting. Acting? <laughs> oh, what's taking? You accuse me of acting. Everybody in the neighborhood knows how you treat your mother. I shouldn't wonder. Oh, well, let's forget about it. Paul will be coming for me in a minute. Come on, help me clean up the room a little bit. It's so hot and I work so hard. Don't seem like we ever get anything done. Mm, new hat. Yes, I couldn't resist it. Jeannie put it away in the drawer for me and today it was marked down. Well, I was supposed to all night, but I've been washing dishes with torn rubber gloves to save a quarter. You know, my hands are all I have left for the caravel. I'll get you some new gloves, Mom. Well, Paul got a raise today. Mm. Yes, and we're going to celebrate. That's where I got the new hat. I suppose you didn't forget all about your duty to your family now. He's going off to get married. Oh, no, I'll be sticking around for a little while. Well, I better hurry and get dressed. Was it a nice raise, Paul got? Ten dollars. Now, isn't that grand? Gee, Ma, you look just like a movie star. Yeah? Where's Kay? In her room. Hey, Kay, your heart beats downstairs. Tell him to come up, Johnny. Want to congratulate him on his raise. Yeah, maybe that's why you don't want to come up. Johnny, tell Paul I'll be right down. I'll tell him. How are you, Paul? Oh, hello, Mrs. Boylan. Hey, just told me the good news. About Kay and me? No, about your raise. Oh. Times are too hard to be thinking about marriage. You don't know when to try to keep house. If I was the kind that liked to tell about my troubles, I could tell you... Well, people do seem to get along somehow, Mrs. Boylan. That's what you young people think. It's keeping things from Kay that's giving me my gray hairs. Saving her the worry about money. Pinching and scraping. Stalling off this one and that one. Would five dollars help any, Mrs. Boylan? <sighs> don't will be a drop in the bucket. I need ten. Uh, but why should Oh, you... that's all right. Look, I'll let you have the $10. After all, I did get a raise. Uh, yes, uh, I know. 
Hello, Paul. Have a good time, children. Okay. I know a grand place to go. Good food and a small orchestra. Well, I... What's the matter, Paul? You see, when I was about to leave the office, a fellow, awfully nice chap, Said he was in a spot, and could I let him have ten dollars? Okay, where are you going? See that fella you loaned the ten dollars to. I'll be back with that money in a minute. Let's take the special dinner. It's cheaper. Talk louder. I can't hear you. People will hear me. What people? The waiter, silly. If we have a special, we get champagne cocktails. Why, on my $40 a week, we can keep a dozen bottles of champagne on ice all the time. We'll have enough left over for a movie. Well, two movies a week anyway. Idiot, I'm talking about tonight. And I'm talking about the rest of our lives. Say, do you know, I've just discovered something very important. What? That all the hats this season are cockeyed until you get your face under them. You're talking crazy, but I love it. Now, when I'm at the head of the credit department at Tracy's Incorporated, And you're I... going to be, too. And when you're the head of Mr. and Mrs. Paul Wilson Incorporated... Look, honey, let's not talk about that tonight. Let's just have fun. That's, that's how I had my fun. Dreaming and planning about us. But I think we'd better lay off that Mr. and Mrs. Angle for a while. Now, don't tell me there's a family in your life. Kay, they can't mean more than us. We can wait a little while, Paul, can't we? Try to see it my way. I understand. Think you can wait a little longer for the gal? Think you can go for a guy with a long white beard? Oh, John. Oh. And his face all cut up. Uh, the street. Where's the money for the doctor? Can it be like that? <laughs> I'm, I'm sorry, Ma, but I, I didn't want to go down there in the first place. I'm almost Oh. Uh, uh, oh. Just be quiet. It won't oh. hurt much. <laughs> I wouldn't have stayed. I didn't want to come home without a job. Oh. Kay, your father's been hurt. I, I don't know. Some, uh, some guy in the picket line got knocked down with a rock. I jumped in to help him. He was, then this, this goon was standing over me with a lead pipe in his hand. Somehow I, I got it away from him. And I must have started hitting out with it, and I... I can't remember after that. All right, darling. Yeah. Don't try to tell me now. Jim Boylan live here? Yeah, sure. What's the matter? I have a warrant for his arrest. Arrest? What's the charge? Murder. Oh, oh, oh. Murder? Please don't take it. Please. He didn't do anything. Oh, well, I... Uh, for murder. And will they give it to him? I'm kind of sorry for Johnny. I'm not. He always was a wise guy. This will take him down. How come you guys didn't wait for me this morning? Oh, come on, why don't you say something? After what happened last night, we didn't figure you'd be coming to school anymore. What's that got to do with me going to school? Nothing. Some guys have to have a house fall on them before they can take a hint. You better watch out what you say about me and my old man, see? I'm not saying anything. All I do is read the newspapers. 
He didn't do anything wrong. Understand? That's funny. He only killed a guy, that's all. Killed a guy? Next time, don't start something you can't finish. I just hope your old man has a good lawyer. Come on, fellas. James Boylan, you have been found guilty of murder in the first degree. for a new trial. But in the meantime, what are we going to live on? The lawyers have taken everything. Oh, Paul, can't you do something? Can't you borrow some money? Mom, stop that. Paul's done everything he's going to do. It's no time to be proud. Of course not. I'll do everything I can. Paul, I think we ought to get a new lawyer. Oh, when they put Dad on the stand, he never had a chance to say more than yes or no. They railroaded him. That's what they did. Johnny, that's some way to feel order talk. Come on, let's go home. <laughs> What did the lawyer say? Keep your fingers crossed and hope for a miracle. Sorry, but its meaning is quite clear. But I've done my work and my sales have held up. You haven't had any complaints from customers, have you? I'm very sorry, Miss Boyle. It's late, Kate. You get some rest and I'll see you tomorrow. I'm going to be busy tomorrow, looking for a new job. You won't be busy in the evening. Can't you see it's no use, Paul? If you stick with me, you'll go down. You'll get lost. And we'll end up bitter and defeated like Mom and Dad. Got it all figured out, haven't you? Yes. Well, I've done some figuring myself, but I get a different answer. It's no good, Paul. Kay. You're not really serious. Terribly serious. Please go, Paul. Nobody around here I'd come back for. Then I'll come to see you. Well, that's if I need you to do something for me. I know if I could ever do anything for somebody, I'd do it. This is the last of it. Your mom wants you to come with us, pile in the bag. All right. Goodbye, Jack. Bye, Rita Bell.
kids. Get out of the street. Someday somebody's gonna get killed. So what? Uh, well, then you're not nah, bottle top before he swamps all over you. Ah, don't waste your breath on that slug. Can't you see from the lower classes? Come on there, fresh guys. Get going. Get out of here. Get a nice fresh vegetables. Fresh fruit is coming today. What's good today? Well, we got a nice carrots, nice fresh potatoes, onions, got it. Please, no handle the fruit. Nobody's handled by me the fruit. Everything is going to be clean. Stream beans? No. Head garbage? No. For you, I got something special. Has it by the nice fresh bones asparagus? Huh? Ah? All right, wrap it up. Okay. Cents, please. Asparagus is only 20 cents. But the lettuce is 8 cents. Am I too inquisitive? Give the money, please. Wait, I'm gonna give you your change. Hm. 20 cents asparagus. What? Where are my transporters? I've been robbed. Look in your other pocket. Don't you think we ought to save a couple of these balonies for pay? Give them some of yours. He ain't never give me nothing. Shut the fuck on the nose. Shut up. Don't do nothing for nobody, then you'll always have time to do something for yourself. That's my mind. Hey, get a load of this. Hello, gorgeous. She didn't hear me. You mean she took one look and didn't listen? No girl wants a little run. Did you ever hear of a guy named Napoleon? Ah, you nut. Nice, nice. Idea of holding out. I'll slap you all over that joint. And that goes for the rest of you. Hey, you. What do you want? Come here. All right. Your name is Boylan, ain't it? So what? Where are you from, Applehead? Who wants to know? He's from Park Avenue, can't you see? Oh, a debutante. You and him ought to get along swell, because your old man's in the same stir with his. Yeah. My old man's in for 20 years. Gee, that's a long time. Hope mine don't have to stay that long. Yeah, but that only means seven with good behavior. He can do that on one side. What's yours in for? Murder. Gee, well, no shit. Sure. OK, Boylan, that's in your favor. But you're new around here, and we're not letting you put anything over on us. Just mind your own business, and you won't get hurt. Come on, guys. Hey, fellas, watch this. Hey, that's my sister. You cut that out. Oh, a tough guy, huh? Come on, I'll take you one at a time. Johnny, come here this minute. Nasty man. Ooh, I'm so nervous. What's the matter? See who cracks him first. What's the matter with you? You're still champ. What are you doing? Talking wacky again? Ah, oh, leave him alone, pig. You beat lumps on his head every day, but it does no good. You know, Johnny, when you stood up for me against that mob of kids, I was awfully proud of you. You're a lot like Dad. You have his courage. Yeah. He wasn't afraid of anything, except Mom. She used to scare the daylights out of him. Johnny, you're the man of the family now. And I'm counting on you. I have to get a job. 
I'll sell papers. Lots of big men started that way. I've got a hunch someday I'm going to be awfully proud of you. Maybe we can get away from here before Dad gets out. So whoever finds out about this dump. Suppose... Just suppose he... He doesn't get a new trial. Johnny, get that? Everything double? That's it, everything double. Okay. Pig, you know, I think there's gonna be enough business around here for both of us. Yeah? Go on, pick up your papers. You mean it? Go on. Sure, Johnny. Hey, uh, paper. Hey, get your paper. No, get I didn't your paper, paper, miss. Come on, get your paper. Hey, uh, hey, uh, get paper. paper. Will you, Mom? I gotta go meet the gang. Hello, Johnny. Oh, hiya. What's the rush? Well, I'll see you later. I'm in a hurry. You're not too busy to talk to an old friend, are you? Look, I told you I'm in a hurry, see? I got things to do. I got guys waiting for me. All right, Johnny. So long. Good afternoon, Mrs. Boylan. Oh, it's you. Oh, you've been keeping yourself. Oh, nowhere. Just laying low, waiting for that break. You stay in the office? Yes. Well, I'm on layoff. Sort of a vacation. Hey, vacation's wonderful. I had one once up in Maine. You ever been there? No, I haven't. Is Kay... Well, you sure ought to go. Say, do you like blueberry pie? Well, that's the place to get it. Mm -hmm. Could I go for some blueberry pie right now? I saw that lawyer not long ago, and he seems very optimistic about the new trial. Hmm. He makes his living out of being optimistic. It ain't him that's sitting in the death house. How's Kay, Mrs. Boylan? Oh, you Kay's boyfriend? What are you asking about her for? I thought you two decided to split up. Well, it wasn't definitely set. 
At least not as far as I'm concerned. Mm, wish she'd marry someone. She'll be the death of them if she don't. Yeah. I always say marry young. Stay out of trouble that way. First, she lost her job. Couldn't find another one for lover money. Then she started spending every minute of the day wrangling with that lawyer. Until finally I had to tell her if she didn't stop fooling around to get some kind of a job, I'd go out and work myself. Where is Kay? Working? You'd never guess. She's with Goodman's Follies. Can you imagine my Kay on the stage? Well, that's a burlesque house, isn't it? Yes, but I always say if a girl's had the right bringing up, she's safe anywhere. No doubt. I'll tell Kay you were here. Yes. Do that. That was a quick one he gave you. Hello, Paul. How's everything? All right. How are things with you? Oh, I managed to get by. Well, I have to run along now, Paul, with the dot. It's been awfully good to see you. Yeah, I can see that. Oh, it really has, Paul, but I simply must go. Just a minute. I'd like to talk to Kay alone, if you don't mind. Mine? Me? Mine? What do you think you are running me around? Wait for me in the car, Doc. I won't be long. All right. Hello, Hi, Doc. Oh, Hi, Doc. How are you? Do you mean to tell me you were really going out with that crowd? I don't see anything wrong with them. Maybe I'm wrong. Maybe. Come back again some night, Paul. Any night. I suppose that's my cue to feel hurt and say goodbye, have a good time. You did that very well. It hurt. I'm sorry. I didn't come down here to quarrel. I saw Johnny today. He's changed from the kid I used to know. That's to be expected. You've changed too. So have I. Well, if we both know that, what's to keep you from getting out of this place before we're... Well, before it's too late. Why try to fool ourselves, Paul? You're the kind of a person that likes to build air castles. That's swell. I love you for it. But where I'm going, about the best we could do would be a mud pie now and then. I wouldn't want that. And what do you expect me to do? Stand aside and watch you play the martyr? You know, Kay, we don't live forever. We've got to demand things of life. The world isn't going to stop and wait for us. Sounds swell. But as far as I'm concerned, the world can go up in flames and... All of us with it. Hey! Hey! You jit. You flipped it at the right call to you. What are you, bum. goofy? You think I cheat you for nickel? I ain't so low. No, uh, you're so low you could crawl under a snake with a hi hat. What are you looking to get your block knocked off? Call well, it a misplay. It's a misplay. What do you mean, misplay? What do you mean? It's a boiling. There's a lady to see you. Quit cracking wise, will you? It's on a level, Johnny. A dame looking for you. A little dame, but a nifty. Yeah, man, a neat little job. Match you for the tootsie. Hey, dope, give me that nickel. Hello, Johnny. Hello. Oh. What are you doing down here, Rita Bell? Well, you never come to see anybody, so I came down. That is, I happen to be on the street, so... Why? Aren't you glad to see me? Yeah, sure, but... Gosh, you know girls ain't supposed to go tagging after boys. I'm not tagging Johnny Borland. Besides, that's very old-fashioned. Wait a minute. Here, Rita Bell, it's maple pecan. Well, thanks, Johnny. Do you remember my favorite kind? Nah, it's all they had. Well, 
Goodbye. Do I have to go already? Yeah, you see, I have to get down to my business now pretty quick. Oh, well, what kind of business, Johnny? Newspaper business. Oh, that's grand. Well, Johnny, if you happen to be down on our street like I was now, well, you know. Yeah, I know. Okay, sure. Well, goodbye. Goodbye, Johnny, and, and thanks for the call. Uh-huh, goodbye. Oh, dear me, just wait and see. Love is so wonderful. Come fly with me. Come on, I'll take you one at a time. Work Street, Work Street, read all about it. Open house, Work Street, come and get it. Hey, fellas, get along with this. What, what is, is it? it? Uh, open what house. What language? Young American Onward and Upward League, 2172 Winter Street. Today, 2.30. Music, get together and read Fresh Man. Uh, And now, dear radio audience, and you boys, members and friends of the Onward and Upward League, who are so close to my heart, I've seen our movement grow from the teeniest idea to what it is today. We are all brothers. That's why we're gathered here today from every part of the city. It isn't where you live or the kind of clothes you wear. It's the way you the thing is to do whatever you're doing in the, the best way you, you know how to... Ah, that, that is... Uh, give everything you've got to whatever you're doing. I'm sure you boys all know what I mean. <gasps> ah, shoot! <laughs> and now... I'm happy to present one of our city's youngest and finest members as our guest chairman. He's come all the way from his beautiful Long Island home just to be with us. I'm proud to present Mr. Cyril Girard. the city dump. Get out of my way, you little squirts. You just get out of me. Order, order, please. Order, order, please. Order, please. We were, we're on the air. Come on, scram. Friends, you're listening to a broadcast get out. Get out. of the Monty Blues of America. Onward, get out. Get out. This is Clarence Seabax for speaking. Hey, it's shakes, Rick. Will the uh, young gentleman please sit down? Listen, buddy, sit, sit down. Uh, trying to start a riot, huh? Just like your old man. Play, boy, play. Play the court and the passenger. Shall we swing it or just straight? Who we'll play it anyway. Okay. Hey. One, two. Or you're the guest chairman. If that gang isn't good enough for your club, then your club's too good for me. <laughs> well, you sure smeared Baxter's good deed for the month. But you don't want to lose your head like that. That's for guys with no brain. Yeah, I was doing all right. What are you talking about? Left you something. All right, dig your eyes on. Give right. me the back of me hand. Don't get me wrong. If I like you, I wouldn't be out here. You and I could go places. Yeah, places I go, you couldn't get that fat head of yours true. Move over, dude. This pile's big enough. Uh, don't be misled by the scenery. I'm a right guy. Yeah. Certainly. Now then, fellas, how about a feed on me? What do you say, pig? He asked me, what do I say? What do I say? Come on, get a set. What do we have? I'm you have you. Boy, get a load of this tire. Two and three dollars a shot. Cool, mate. Two slugs, fifty. 
Never mind that, fellows. All I do is sign the check. Atta boy, bring us the wakes. Come on, you slug. Get busy before we nonchalantly slug you. Hey, pipe this. Poison. It's fine to knock us off, huh? Ah, uh, but you ignorant. Be so much a poison. Hey, what the way to call that? Pull it and cast a roll, grandmare. Can you eat it? Gee, it's chicken. Did he give us a swell feed? Hey, fellas, the sheets are coming. Okay, come on. Hey, uh, well, I'll see you later, Mike. Johnny, where are you going? Oh, our last edition's up. I made a dollar and a half already today. Go on. Hey, Sling, you give me the papers. Oh, yeah, give me my money. Come on. Come on, don't take too many, Joe. You can't tell them. Yeah, I get a lot today. I haven't got any of enough. The rest of mine, this ain't. Japs around the Chinese. Yesterday, the Chinese around the Japs. Hey, Johnny, dish up a headline for us, will you? Okay, let's see. Here, wealthy man missing. Nah, we used that last Saturday. Yeah, but this is a new guy. Nah. All right. Oh, actress attempt suicide. Nah. Here's your headline, fellas. Innocent man goes to chair. Innocent man goes to chair. That's a good yeah, one. Hey, 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 Judge Knott? Yes? I just wanted to remind you of your luncheon appointment in 15 minutes. Yes, thank you, Winters. Anyone waiting? Uh, the boiling boy. Uh, well, I can't see him now. No more appointments today, please. Yes, sir. I was here yesterday. I've been here three hours today. You let a dozen people come in while I was waiting. He's got to see me. I'm sorry. Those other people had appointments. Why don't you come back tomorrow about 3.15? Yeah, sure. Suppose I come back next Christmas. I got to see him now, I tell you. That was the corpus delicti. <laughs> I've been waiting to see you. Sorry, son. Some other time. I'm on my way out now. But I'm Johnny Boylan. You're sending my dad to the chair and he's innocent. The jury, not I, decides a man's innocence or guilt. I'm sorry, my boy. But you can give him a new trial. If the case warrants a new trial, I'm sure your father's attorney will bring the matter before the court in new order. I can't discuss this with you. But you're railroading him. That's what you're doing. Railroading him.
And I'm not going to see. Okay. What do you think they're going to do to me? I don't know, Johnny. They can't pin anything on me. I've never been in trouble before. Gosh, anybody's liable to bust the window. You know that. But you had to pick a window with the judge's head behind it. We just thought we'd drop around and see Johnny, that's all. The less you see of Johnny, the better I like it. Say, we ain't never done nothing to Johnny. What do you mean? We just came to see him. Sure, he's our pal. We just feel sorry for the kid on account of he got in trouble. Yeah, I know. All I ask of you is to go on being sorry and stay away from him. That's a fine thing to walk out on a guy when he's down. Yeah, and a clutch is at a law. Yeah, it's just like a girl. Come on. Come to visit our brother. What's your brother's name? I am. Um... Joe, you dope. Yeah, yeah, that's right. You see, I'm kind of nervous. I never been in a joint like this before. Joe, what? Budlowski. There's no boy by that name here, son. What? He's gotta be here. He ain't nowhere else. I'm telling you, there's no Joe Puddle. What'd you call him here? I bet it's a plot to hold him in solitary. Maybe to give him the toy degree. They kill me, poor little brother. Give me the police department. Give me the more. Sorry, what, what are, are you kids up to? What are, are we up to? What are we up to here? Yes. <laughs> what do you do with Joe Palacio? What do you do with him? <laughs> what do you do with Joe Palacio? What are you do with him? Hey, what is this? Yes, you're stolen. You can't do that, Just. Where is he? So what are we up to here? Yes. Where is he? I'm not going home to my poor little mom till I see my brother alive. I will bust hey. this place wide open. Let's give him the law. Kick us. Give him the law. Dobie beat it. High pockets is waiting in the car. So okay. Let's Johnny, only a real pal would do this for you. Yeah, I know. Sure as well you guys to bother. Forget them. I wasn't gonna let any pal of mine go to a reformatory for five or six years when all it needed was a little brain oil. You let me do your thinking for you and you'll stay out of trouble. Listen, big shot, get this straight. I can think of more things in five minutes than you can in a lifetime, see?
Hello, Kay. Been waiting long? Oh, about 20 minutes. I was beginning to think you weren't coming. I'm sorry. I don't know what's on your mind. It's about Johnny. He's in trouble. I guess that much. I didn't suppose that you called me to talk about us. I guess I had a nerve calling you. Suppose we just forget it. I didn't mean it that way. Come on, sit down and tell me what happened to Johnny. Well, he threw a rocket judge knock. They've been holding him in the juvenile hall just to throw a scare into it. This afternoon, he ran away. Well, I wouldn't let that upset me. He's not the first kid to run away. Come on, let's have a sandwich, and then we'll go out and look for your public enemy number one. Oh, I couldn't eat anything, really. Nonsense. You have to eat something. You'll make yourself ill. Honest, I couldn't. Now, look. Will you quit worrying about that kid? He'll be all right. You know, Kay, this is the first time I've had a chance to really talk to you. Please, Paul. Some other time. All right. Come on. It's not that I don't want to talk to you, Paul. It's just that I don't want Johnny to be alone. Dad does. Okay. Suppose you go home and stay with your mother. I'll go and look for Johnny. I'll never be able to make it up to you. That's all right. We're old friends, aren't we? Thanks, Paul. I tell you, it was evil I working. I walks up to the guy and says, I want to see me brother. But I ain't got no brother, see? I'm acting kind of crazy-like, like I'm somebody else. Then I feels myself getting bigger and bigger and bigger. Until I feels the whole room with me present, see? Then I let someone have it. Someone that crosses me, see? The rest I forget. You know something, mister? Them guys wasn't a bit polite. Nah, no consideration at all. Well, after seeing the condition you left that office in, I'd say it was a toss-up between you and Mrs. O'Leary's cow. Now run along now, and don't forget what I told you if you see Johnny. You know, mister, I still think if you look in one of them closets down at detention room, you find Johnny's body. Oh, keep quiet. So long, Kay. Good night, Mrs. Boylan. Good night. How do you like? No, not yet. Oh, this is Mr. Morgan, the probation officer. How do you do? Well, I've looked in all the Turkish baths and the wise. I've even prowled around the waterfront in case he might have decided to take a trip around the world. Well, I wouldn't worry too much. You know, kids are all alike. After a while, they get hungry and come home. I wish you'd leave the whole thing to me. I promise to give him a good scolding, and I'll even make him write a nice letter of apology. <laughs> After all, a mother knows what's best for a child. Well, if you hear anything, Miss Boylan, just uh, get in touch with us. Thanks for being so kind. Good night. Hunting my boy like a common criminal. Thanks for the smile. Paul, remember that night at the theater? Yes. I didn't go with Dot. And those fellows. Go ahead and kiss her. Johnny! Oh, oh my mama. God. It's all right, Mother. Here's a nickel. Go ahead and phone the cops. We won't have to phone the cops, Johnny. I'll go down with you and we'll get it all straightened out. Where you will in the pig's eye? We did all right without you. Now stay out of this. Johnny, what are you talking about? I heard you tell that copy you turned me in. And that's exactly what I'm going to do before you get yourself in any more trouble. Well, go on and call. The phone's right outside. But if you do, it'll be the last time you ever see me. Because I won't be here when they come. Johnny, you're talking crazy. Think of what you're doing to us. I'm thinking about myself. It's me they want to put away. If you give yourself up, they'll be easy on you. Put you on probation. Yeah, with my family record. 
My old man in the death house. My sister, a boyless girl. Mom in a pile he dumped. Yeah, sure, I'm a cinch for probation. All right, maybe they will send you up for a few months. But lots of things worse than that. I never ran away or blamed your mom for what I had to face. Oh, I know all about that. I know he'd have married you long ago if it hadn't been for me and mom. Gosh, I ain't a kid anymore. I can see what's happening to you. Things haven't panned out the way we figured that night on the roof. They got dad and we're still down here. And we're going to stay here till we're dead if we don't do something about it. Well, I'm getting out now, right now. Oh, stop him! Johnny, what are you going? What are you going to do? Don't worry, I'll do all right. Hey, guys. Get a load of this joint. Looks like a museum. Come right in, boys. think I am, I says. His nurse, I says, that kind of breaks him up, see? Puts him on the defensive. Yeah, and then he says, I ain't giving out. So then he says, okay, okay. If you see Johnny, send him home. I says, sure, I will, sure. Very amusing. Boy, oh boy, this beats Coney Island. Say, this is a swell setup. I'm gonna tell me old lady about it. You get your shirt washed, and you take a bath at the same time. Watch me go, and the crowd roars. This grind is killing me. This six-day bike racing is too much. But you can't let the public down, pig. Come on, you bunch of swabs. Pull out for dear old lady. And, and here comes Cicero. And it's Cicero. I hear him roar, hear him roar. And the little woman. You gotta do a bit of little woman. And the kiddies, and the kiddies. You gotta win, you gotta win, you gotta win. Hey, 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 hey. Well, fellas, we might just as well get down to business. You better wait for Johnny. He might take it the wrong way. I rather doubt if Johnny's coming. We're in. We're in by a lip. What do you mean? He ain't the kind let the gang down after what we've done for him. At this moment, he's undoubtedly in the hands of the law. Not only a traitor to our trust, but an informer as well. Save the riddles, high pockets. What's happened? I left him at the High Y Turkey's Bass this afternoon with definite instructions. He wanted to stay with his old lady. What kind of his old man's going to get it tonight? I tried to argue him out of it, but you know how he is. Exactly. And he probably walked right into a police trap. Well, I did what I could for him. Hey. If anything happens to Johnny, we call the whole show off, see? That's entirely up to you, boys. I have nothing to gain. Get the flies out of your nose. What do you mean you have nothing to gain? What do you take us for, a bunch of dopes? Suppose I put it this way. I'm not interested in any financial rewards that result from our, uh, shall I say, uh, activities. I don't want any part of it. You don't want to cut. You see, boys, I'm bored with my life. Oh, I'm so bored with my life. I envy you. I envy your disorganized lives. I want to take you guys apart and see what makes you tick. Tick tock, tick tock, it's dynamite! Why don't you just admit you're bombing and go on from there? I'm trying to tell you I'm sick of being regimented. I want a little thrill out of life, a little danger. I want to be as clever as... as you. How do you suppose that got there? You're doing all right, pal me, you'll do even better. Look, I'm prepared to give you an advance against our future success. And now we'll drink to that in champagne. Champagne? What's that, that bubbly stuff? Sure, soda pop with a kick. Hey, how about all them stooges downstairs? If one of them hear you talking wacky this way. Oh, you mean the servants? Don't worry about them. No one intrudes on my privacy. This is my sanctum sanctorum. Do you hear that? This is private sanatorium. He is nuts. All right, Johnny. That'll be all, Robert. I didn't expect to see you again. You didn't? Well, here I am. We're having a meeting. I'll be right back. Johnny, where you been? How's your folks, Johnny? Gee, we're awful sorry. Yeah, you know about your old man. 
Hey, you know that guy Cyril? He's ready for the booby hack. Worse than that. When he shuts his mouth, it comes out of his ears. That's right, ain't it, fella? Sure. sure. Here it is. We will now drink a toast to fidelity. As your leader, I demand a pledge. I sold all the junk. Here you are, Johnny. You all get ten bucks. It's not all we get. I could do better than that selling newspapers. I didn't know they sold newspapers in reform school. Quit the wisecracks. Come on, come on, come across a mic. Come on, well, how about Jack? the dough? Go That's here. it. You guys seem to forget the protection you're getting from stringing along with me. For instance? Well, I'm a perfect alibi. In case someone wants to know where you're getting your spending money. That's right, Johnny. Hiya, boys. <laughs> who let you out? Yeah, who are you? What do you want, liver lips? <laughs> I've been called a lot of things in my time. How about kicking in with some of that rent? What rent? I thought you'd tell me your old man owned this joint. Well, he used to. I just found out yesterday he sold it. A triple cross, huh? Well, how much? Well, now, let me see. I want to play ball with you boys. Suppose we make it $60 and I keep my mouth shut. OK, come on, boys. Hand it across. What? Ta -da. Ta -da. Ta -da. Ta -da. Ta -da. Come on. Right. Give me yours. Come on. There. You know, you ought to get yourself a job as a mind reader in a flea circus. <laughs> the guy kills me. Now, you boys string along with old Domino, and nobody will know from nothing. Yeah, sure, sure. Go on, get going, gang. Come on, I said get going. Yes, thief. I suppose, uh, we won't be seeing you till next month, huh? That's right, Sonny. Why, you little... Try spitting on it, pal. Uh, police link series of recent thefts to a well-organized gang. Uh, losses running into thousands. Losses running into thousands. Well, I got out of it so far with two cheap ties, a second-hand suit, and a pair of shoes that don't fit. Yeah, I'm in a case of jitters every time he opens a door. Slow down, high pockets. There's a police car trailing us. Guess they want to play tag. Shall we play? Forget the speeches. This car happens to be one of the things your old man don't own. Why don't you turn yourself in? The others can use your cut, can't they, pig? I didn't hear nothing, and I want to hear nothing. But give it the back of me hand. Ah, dry up, you gooch. I'll stick your eyes out. You keep yachting, we'll fill you up with sand and drop you in the river. Why, and I want to sleep. Oh, hello, Mom. You know who this is? Yeah, it's Johnny, that's right. Are you all right, Johnny? You sound like you've got a cold. <clears throat> yeah, how's that? Yeah, I guess maybe my voice is changing, you know, sort of grown up. Say, how do you like that new telephone I got in for you? Well, you do? Oh, that's well. Ma, are you all right? I'm all right. Why don't you come home, Johnny? Oh, well, I'm coming home pretty soon, honest. Say, Ma, is Case sort me? Nobody's sore, Johnny. We're just afraid for you. Oh, forget it. I'm doing all right. No kid, Ma. How is Kay? She's all right, I guess. She and Paul will be getting married. Well, don't you worry about anything, because I'm still going to be around to take care of you. If I could just hear you coming into the house, like you used to, 
banging the door. Never scared anything. Beat it, will you? Talking to Ma. Cut it short, will you? Stomach feel like it was sprayed with ice water. Okay, okay. Hello, Ma. Oh, that's just some guy. Well, look, I gotta hang up now. Yeah, don't you worry about anything. The bull! Scram, I'll call you. I pox some pig away for you in a car. Swell. Johnny! Did you see the boy just use that phone? Why, no, I didn't. Did you see him? Did you see the kid that just used that phone? Well, answer me. Did you see him or not? Oh. So long, Flatfoot. So long. I told you that phone idea'd land you in trouble. Yeah. Gee, my sounded awful old. Hey, look out where you're going, will you? Come on, come on, step on it. I don't want to go up the river for no stoplight. Don't worry, you won't. Cut out the wide cracking and I'll push up face in. Now get out, the two of you. We're washed up. Go on home and play ping pong with yourself. We'll do all right without him. I got ideas of my own. Let's run over him. Give him the old hit and run. Ah, what for? Sit down, son. I want to get this straight. You masqueraded... I prefer standing if you don't mind. It's easier for me to think. Just an idiosyncrasy of mine. That's quite all right. You became the leader of this gang to gain their confidence so you might trap them. Precisely. You see, I've made an extensive study of criminology, and I felt here would be an excellent opportunity to gain some practical knowledge and at the same time be of service to the authorities. I see. You were putting your theories to the test. Precisely. Sit down, young man. Yes, sir. When's that show start? In five minutes. Well, uh, give me two loaves, please. There they are. I told you. Two, please. continue working out of your office on special assignments. You know, undercover work. You'll be undercover until you're 21. Here, put him in with the rest well, of Well, that isn't playing square. Come on, get on it. 
Before you arrest me, I'd like to explain just who my father is. You introduce him to me. He's down at the station waiting for us. and give myself up just to get a crack at that guy, so. Ah, there ain't no fun hitting a guy up there because it's toward him. We're gonna blow town. How about your cargo? Nah, we're going way out west. First, we gotta get some of this stone mine. Let's lay over here a couple hours until the heat's off. Yeah, wise guy, you got company. I take out her phone, tell her what to say, give her the dough and tell her to beat it. But she tells me, because she's got to see you. Skip it. How are you, Rita Bell? Who'd you talk to, Mama Kay? Your sister. She's coming right over and she wants you to wait for her. Oh, gee, I'm glad to see you again. Hmm. Tired out for laugh. I tell her, say, we're gone, see? Because the coppers will be topping the wise like woodpeckers. When I ain't listening, she goes and tells everything. Just like a girl. You keep that big trap shut. Look, Rita Bell, I'm in a little trouble. See, nothing serious. Give that package to Kay. Tell her I'm sorry it isn't more. Will you do that like a good little girl? Yes. But can't you wait just a little while longer? Oh, she wanted to see you so awfully bad. I'd like to, honest I would, but I gotta keep moving. You tell her that, she'll understand. Rita Bell. Yes? You didn't see me if anyone asked you. Got that straight? All right, Johnny. That's a good little girl. Here, buy yourself something. in a big hurry, huh? Oh, he's always that way. Good night, Pop. Good night. Call it again, please. You see that joint? Yeah. That's where I was born. See that spot there? That's where we're gonna die if we don't shake a leg. Shut up, shut up. Johnny. Looks like they got us. To get. I ain't giving up. Ask him for it. Ask him for it. Lay down, you dumbass. Stop here, miss. All right, stand back. Get back there. All right, stand back. Keep that crowd back. Rope off the street. Okay, sir. Send for an ambulance. Stand by. Johnny, what? What are you waiting for? I don't know. Let me get safely home to my wife. I want to be the Bible by freaking. And, and do not punish these little boys. They don't mean any harm. What's that? Ah, it's just an ambulance. I guess that's what they're waiting for, huh? Get back in the rope, there. Get back. Let no one fire unless I give the orders. Keep back. There's someone on the roof. I'm going to get him. You're imagining things. 
I tell you, I saw something moving. Look, we ain't wasting bullets on shatters, see? Let me get home. I want to be safe. Yes. She might be worried about me. Hey, you! Shut up! What's the matter? You blowing your topper? I can't hear nothing with that guy shooting off his mouth the way he does. Boyle! Throw your guns in the street and come out with your hands in the air. One at a time. You shouldn't let him go. Not it really blast us. You said a squat was getting on your nerves, didn't you? I couldn't stand it either, see? I'll give you just one minute to come out or be blown out. You hear what he said? Yeah. But I don't trust him. Once they get us out in the open, they'll let us have it. Not if we go out with our hands in the air, they won't. I'd give myself up, see? If they could railroad my pop to the chair for doing nothing. What do you think they'll do to us, huh? I ain't staying. I'll give myself up. If you do, I'll plug you full of holes before you open that door. You kill me and you'll end up just like your old man. You wouldn't like that, would you? Why, you no good think. Johnny, don't. I didn't mean it. You know I didn't. I'd do anything you say. Only don't shoot. Johnny, let me go. All right. Go on, beat it. Quick, before I change my mind. Let him have it. Boy. Sergeant, this is Boylan's sister. Uh, no. He'd still be living if he'd listen to me, pig. I know they'd crush him. It's all I know. Away from me, you squealer. Jimmy, I said keep away. This gun's liable to go off. Go ahead and shoot. I'd rather you'd kill me than someone outside. I want you, Kay. Johnny, drop that gun. Johnny, drop that gun. And therefore, it is my duty to sentence you on this date to the Grant School for Boys until you are 21. However, this school has a merit system which will enable those who take advantage of it to be ready for parole at the end of 18 months. Are there any questions? Your Honor, I feel in a measure responsible for this whole misfortune. If you'd release my son and all these boys to me, I'd send them to a good military school. I believe we'd accomplish more. Mr. Gerard? These boys have destroyed property and endangered lives. They must be punished, not rewarded. I think the grant will help your boy. All these boys. It's not a prison with barbed wire fences and black snake whips. It's a school for first offenders. Of course, the results depend on cooperation from the boys. And if you want to help, put out your hand when they come home. They'll need friends then, too. Move on, boys. Take it easy, or spend the next 18 months right here. Can you take a joke? Come on. Carl Adams was killed, and John Borland is the boy who was with him. I see. John Borland, please stand. Come here, John. John, you've managed to get yourself into quite a little trouble in the last few months, haven't you? Yes, sir. I suppose you had a reason for what you did, or were you just out for adventure? I had a reason. A good reason. What was it? I needed money to get Mom and Kay a decent place to live in. And you had to steal to do that? Yes, sir. 
You started out to steal and even murder if necessary so that you could give money to your mother and sister. I didn't say nothing about murder. But for your sister, you would be a murderer today. I think you'll admit that, Mrs. Borland. Yes. How much money did your son give you after he left home? I don't remember exactly. He's always been a good boy. When he sold newspapers, he gave me every cent. You're still living at the same address? Oh, yes. That'll be all, Mrs. Borland. Johnny, do you know what a criminal is doing when he says, I stole for my mother, I lied to protect my pal? He's just making his mother and his pal take over his guilt. He's being soft. I ain't asking you to be easy with me. Go ahead and send me up and get it over with. Is Rita Bell Warren in the courtroom? Come here, Rita Bell. I see by this report that you've known Johnny for a long time. Tell me something about it. Well, we went to the same school and he lived next to me. That was before he moved away. Yes, sir. Speak louder, Rita Bell. Did you ever see each other after that? What do you want to know that for? You keep your oar out of this, Johnny. Yes, sir, I did. What did you talk about? Well, he didn't have much to say, and he didn't give me a chance to say anything. Well, he was in sort of a hurry. Did he give you anything? Why, I... I gave her a package for Mom. She didn't know what it was. Now, Johnny, I'm not going to warn you again about talking out of turn. Go on, Rita Bell. Well, the time I was thinking of is when he brought me an ice cream cone, a maple pecan one. Thank you, Rita Bell. That's all. Do you remember that, Johnny? What are you trying to do, make a monkey out of me? Answer my question. Sure, sure, I remember. I'm glad to hear that. Now, you said something about a package. Did you see each other again? Uh, I was thinking about something else. Johnny, what am I going to do with you? Send me away and forget about it. Yes, I could do that. I could send you to grad school until you're 21, and then to prison for 10 years. Your Honor, may I... If, if the court pleases, this is Mr. Wilson. Mr. Wilson, what is your relationship to this family? Miss Boylan and I are going to be married, Your Honor. I'm sure we could take good care of Johnny. I see. Miss Boylan. The court is fully aware of the effort you've made in behalf of your brother and the great trouble he's caused you. There isn't anything we won't do to help him, Your Honor. Johnny isn't really tough. We all had a bad time of it when my father left us. I understand. Please be seated. Johnny, of all the boys in this case, I think you have the most to come back to, if you only want to. I could remember that you carried a gun, resisted arrest, that an officer was wounded, and that your pal was killed. Yes, sir. But I don't want to do that. Because I believe the boy that Rita Bell and your family believe in is coming back if you give him a break. You want to give him that break, Johnny? Yes, Your Honor. Then I'm sending you to grand school along with the other boys. Goodbye and good luck. It's all right, Mama. Mama. Goodbye, Johnny. So long, Paul.
you, Ma. How do you like it? Not bad, huh? All the men in my family look good in uniforms. Oh, hi, Abby. Hello. Hello, Kay. Hi, fella. Hi, Paul. Gosh, it's great seeing you. Oh, thanks for that spending money, Paul. It's okay, pal. You were swell, Johnny. How are you, Mrs. Boylan? Well, hello. Could you see me? You were the busiest guy in there. What's happened to Cyril's eye? Uh, it's been that way ever since we've been up here. Yeah, it's kind of deal, see? Every time he blows about his old man's dough, we get to sock him. It was his own idea, honest. Oh, it was, was it? Yeah, he's gonna be regular yet. I hope. I, I hope, hope, I hope, I hope. <laughs> what is well, you should have seen a big one. I got a little bit of That was the hardest line I ever had. Oh, you hit it the best one. I worked with all the Yeah, yeah, yeah. What do you want to do that for? Cause? 